as a lady, have you ever had symptoms that really bothered you? Then you got pregnant and those symptoms went away and you're like, wow, this is awesome. And then pregnancy was finished and you're like, God, the symptoms came back. What happened? This happened with Anna. Anna shot me a message and she said this, I had chronic highs that only went away while being pregnant. Now they are back. Any idea why this would be? Why in the heck would they go away during pregnancy and then can return? Well, Anna, this is a fantastic question and I want to share it with you and with everyone else. I know the answer and it's a simple one and it's an amazing one. But before we get into the answer, let's set the stage. Your body makes 18,000 different genes. Genes primarily make enzymes and enzymes perform certain jobs. There's a particular enzyme that's really important in, relate, in regards to histamine. And histamine is associated with chronic hives. So there must be some type of gene that's associated with pregnancy in breaking down histamine levels and in corresponding with why she felt good during pregnancy and then not. So let's look into that. And the gene is DAO. DAO stands for diamine oxidase. The job of diamine oxidase is to break down histamine. And of course, if you're doing research and you're trying to research DAO enzyme and you're not finding anything regarding histamine, it's because researchers name DAO something different. The primary nomenclature for diamine oxidase is AOC1. Why? I don't know. But if you can see here from gene cards, the alias for AOC1 gene is DAO or diamine oxidase. So the job of your DAO enzyme is to break down histamine. It just gets rid of it. You pee it out essentially. So when you talk about enzyme function though, it's important to know where that enzyme is functioning. Genes make enzymes, but do genes make enzymes the same amount in every single organ of your body? Is it basically, are you producing DAO in your eyeball as much as in your skin or your small intestine? Let's look at this. So according to gene cards, your kidneys make a huge amount of DAO. And then you have your colon and your small intestine also make a significant amount of DAO enzyme. But do these associate with Anna feeling better during pregnancy or not? No, I'm not convinced for that. So I don't believe that pregnancy would have increased her histamine breakdown via the DAO enzyme. So there must be something else. But wait, I'm not showing you the full picture purposely. Now, if you look at this diagram, what do you see? Oh my, yeah, that pops out, the placenta. Yes, the uterus and the ovaries make a little bit of the DAO enzyme, but the placenta, wow, that is massive. It is way more than the kidney and the colon, and it's by far the top producer of the diamine oxidase enzyme. And when is the placenta made? only during times of pregnancy, obviously. And when is pregnancy over, women lose the placenta. That organ is shed, it's gone. And so she, if she sheds her placenta at the end of pregnancy, she's shedding a huge amount of diamine oxidase enzyme production. And then she has experiencing high histamine levels once again. And as a result, she's experiencing chronic highs because she's not producing such a huge amount of diamine oxidase via her placenta. So why is the placenta making a huge amount of DAO? Well, it turns out that there is a significant link between pregnancy complications and high histamine levels. No one talks about this. Well, very few do. And I need to do a job, a much better job of informing you all about these things. And which is why I'm back. So the links between maternal histamine levels and complications of human pregnancy. Previous literature published since 1910, wow, over a hundred years we've known about this, on maternal blood histamine levels and complications of pregnancy have been reviewed, showing links between high histamine levels and specific pregnancy complications, including 
preeclampsia, spontaneous abortion, preterm labor, hyperemesis gravidarum, also known as nausea and vomiting of pregnancy. These complications may present with symptoms similar to those of experimentally induced high blood histamine in non-pregnant humans. Maternal levels of histamine in normal pregnancy decrease below the values found in healthy non-pregnant women. Again, going back towards Anna saying that she felt better during pregnancy, her chronic hives went away, pregnancy stopped, chronic hives came back. Why is that? Because as a pregnant woman, your should be, your histamine levels should be lower than when you are not pregnant. However, when looking at complications of pregnancy, maternal blood levels rise above those associated with normal pregnancy and may exceed normal non-pregnant circulating levels. And then these link to pregnancy complications. And if you look at the conclusion, levels of histamine in whole blood and plasma during pregnancy have been investigated, showing that histamine levels reach a minimum during the second trimester. And many of the complications of pregnancy, including preeclampsia, preterm labor, spontaneous abortion, nausea and vomiting in pregnancy, are associated with increased levels of maternal blood histamine. Wow. So, and why is that? Why is that such a huge issue? I will address that in an entirely separate video coming up. But the bottom line is, that is why a woman's placenta makes such high amounts of the DAO enzyme to protect her and a developing baby during pregnancy. During pregnancy, Anna did not experience highs because her placenta was pumping out tons of DAO enzyme. That DAO enzyme broke down histamine, thereby lowering her total histamine load, thereby her not experiencing hives. That explains why Anna felt so much better during pregnancy than now.